It's just a nightmare. Complete nightmare. In a bitterly cold rented flat in Yorkshire, this father, who we're calling Peter, is surrounded by mould and damp. He's afraid of eviction if he complains, so we're protecting his identity. Like many struggling with energy costs, Peter is often forced to go without heating, and at night he resorts to shared bodily warmth for him and his two teenage sons. We're just all sleeping on their mattresses on the floor, all in the one room. Well, it's got to that point now. I think the boys would be better off without me. They might get a bit more better care because I'm struggling. These photos show how bad the mould problem was. Peter's landlord took some remedial measures, but they haven't stopped the problem. I think, well, if I approach him too much, he's going to think, oh, no, and just get someone else in. There's a real problem with damp and mould in private rented homes. More than one in ten have issues with damp, according to new figures from the English Housing Survey, with Yorkshire and the Humber much worse than the rest of England. Social housing is badly hit too. Figures from the social housing watchdog, shared exclusively with Sky News, paint a worrying picture. There were a record 3,500 complaints relating to mould, damp and leaks in social housing in the year to March 2022. But between April and November this year, there were more than 2,500 complaints, a rate that, if it continues, will surpass the record figure. I think it is clearly profoundly concerning that you're seeing a significant rise in the number of people who are reporting uh, issues with damp and mould. People who are uh, bringing, raising complaints about damp and mould are often saying this is having an impact on their health, it's having an impact on their mental health, it's having an impact on their well-being, it's causing them deep distress, anxiety uh, and embarrassment. The UK has the oldest housing stock in Europe. With soaring energy costs forcing vulnerable people like Peter to leave the heating off, the presence of damp and mould will continue to pose a real and significant health risk this winter. Stephen Murphy, Sky News in Yorkshire.